today we're going to look at getting started with RAD Menu. RAD Menu is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlot WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. RAD Menu for Silverlot WPF lets you build complicated site menu systems while keeping it simple for the end user. The control is fully customizable, allowing you to create anything your imagination can conceive while keeping all advanced menu functionalities such as hierarchical data binding, rich programming model, boundary detection, checkable items, vertical orientation, click to open, and much, much more. In this video, we will see how easy it is to get started with RAD Menu. We will begin by adding RAD Menu to a new Silverlight application and adding data to it. We will look at a nested menu and add an event handler to detect when an item is clicked. Let's go ahead and jump inside of Visual Studio 2010 and get started. Here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010 and I'm just going to go File, New, Project and I'm going to select Visual C Sharp, Silverlight, then RAD Control Silverlight Application and I want to go ahead and give this a name of RAD Menu Getting Started TTV and then press OK. On the next screen here we're going to host the Silverlight application in a new website as well as be using Silverlight version 5. Our next menu here is the project configuration and this is going to allow us to select components that Telerik built to use in our application. So I know that the RAD menu is actually located in the Telerik.windows.controls.navigation so I'm going to go ahead and place a check here and if we scroll back up to the top you'll see that the dependent reference was also checked as well. Finally, we're going to hit finish and let our project spin up. And now that our project is finished spinning up, we're going to go over here under references and we'll notice that Telerik.windows.controls and Telerik.windows.controls.navigation has been added to the project automatically for us. And if we scroll up here, we'll see that the Telerik XML namespace has been added for us as well. So let's go ahead and begin adding a RAD menu to our new Silverlight project. We'll begin by going inside of the grid and I'm just going to type in Telerik RAD menu and we're just going to put a vertical alignment of top and inside of that we're going to use Telerik RAD menu item and we're going to give this a header of file. Now that we have a RAD menu item that's named file, we're going to need to add another item that is for a tab. So we'll just go ahead and go Telerik RAD menu item and the header here is going to be new tab and we're going to go ahead and add a click event handler while we're here. Let's go ahead and add in a couple of different images that will be displayed in our menu. We can do that by coming back to our project, right clicking, add, new folder, and we're just going to name this images. Right click, add, existing image, and I'm just going to select all of these images here and since I already have them selected I'm going to change the build action here to actually content where they will be included in our zap file and now I can come back underneath my new tab and I can add in Telerik rad menu item dot icon and we're just going to give this an image source of images 11u.png. We're also going to set the stretch to none and then finally we'll close out of the tag. Okay so now that we've added our first one I'm going to simply break down to a next line here and I'm just going to paste in a few more. So if we scroll back up you'll see that we have our new tab, we have a new window, 
then we have an open, a save, and then a save as. Let's go ahead and run the application. So I'm just going to do debug, start without debugging, and now we have our Silverlight application loaded. So if I hover over file, you'll see we have our new tab. We have our new window, we have our open, and then we have our save. Now, if you noticed when I first hovered over the file, it had the nice little animation for the drop-down list. That's included just out of the box for you. There's a lot of other features um, that you can add to this. I just wanted to show you what you get out of the box. So let's go ahead and let's close this and let's go back to Visual Studio and let's add in another menu item. So this time we're going to create a nested menu item. So I'm going to come underneath the Telerik red menu item closing tag and I'm just going to type in Telerik red menu item header is going to be edit and inside of the edit we'll just go ahead and we'll drop in another menu item and this time give it a header of copy and inside of this one add another header and maybe give this a header of something like a select all and we'll close the tag out so you can see we'll have our first header that has edit then you can drill down into copy and then into select all now inside of an edit sometimes you may would want to use a separator so you could come back here and go Telerik rad menu item is separator and just set that to a true and we'll just add one more while we're here and in this one a sample would be maybe something like cut okay so we've added our second menu item we'll just go ahead and fill the rest of this out by adding in a view favorites tools and then a help and if you remember from the beginning, we added a click event handler to our rad menu item, but we haven't added any code yet. So just to scroll back up and show you this functionality, how this works, is that it created a rad menu item click event handler. So we could do something like just a simple message box show. And so now I believe we're ready to run the application again. So, and now our Silverlight application has loaded we have the file that we had just a moment ago we can click on new tab and there is our message box firing because we added the event handler for it we also have edit now when I click on edit you'll see the separator here that we talked about just a moment ago but then under copy you'll see that it has a second menu item uh, that is named select all and then of course we just added in a view favorites tools and help so again, I'd like to thank you for watching, and please tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos, and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements. Thank you.